Hey, hey, this is BA, and welcome to WD Gain Planetary Math Part 5. We're going to wrap up the coffee letter in this one. If you haven't seen Parts 1, 2, 3, and 4, you really should because they kind of lead into this one. Let's get started with one last look at that coffee letter. Okay, this is May Coffee Santos D that uh, WD Gain wrote to John Spawn. And we left off, we've already did these in the previous videos, we left off last week with heliocentric planets and geocentric planets here, okay? And so I'm going to skip this paragraph because if you've seen video four, this is somewhat uh, self-explanatory, so there's no need to cover it. We're going to start here with important dates each month and work our way to the end. Let's get started. Again, important dates each month, 1st, 15th, 18th, and 19th. The present market is running close to these dates. Uh, this letter was written a few days after March 19, 1954. So the present market, uh, he's talking about the March 19th extreme high. Okay. And what he does here is he, he takes a list of, it looks like a, a little bit over a year. Okay. And he goes back and he, he takes these dates of these important highs and lows. And then he looks at the monthly, um, you know, the, the dates here. And I've highlighted in red when they match uh, his four dates up here. Some do, some don't. Okay. What Gann is showing here is to take a few years worth of data, look at highs and lows, good highs and lows in that time, and look at what day of the month that the turns occur to pick up a pattern. When the time cycles coincide, and this is important, when the time cycles coincide with these monthly dates, it can be very significant if other factors are also present. This is a great secondary confirmation tool. And again, that's secondary. Current Euro, US dollar important dates. Current meaning uh, uh, April of, or March of 2016. Here we got uh, dates, and I couldn't use the uh, summer of 2014 to um, uh, early 2015 because it was a pretty good down move, and there's not really good highs and lows in there. It was kind of trendy. Uh, but we went back uh, a little bit further here on this. You'll see 24s repeat, 13s, uh, 15s, and there's one 9 in there, but there's an 8 real close. Euro, US dollar dates each month based on this, 9, 13, 15, and 24. You would want to make these out for your own market. Um, GAN, heliocentric and geocentric aspects, 1954, March 24. Heliocentric Jupiter enters Cancer, June 24. Heliocentric Jupiter, 120 degrees of Saturn. And that must be important because look how far out it is. These are all March and April dates. And here we got that 120 out there. So that means something to GAM. Sun, 160, 60, I'm sorry, Sun, 60 of Jupiter, geocentric. Sun, 180 of Neptune. Jupiter, 135 of Saturn. Jupiter, 60 of Pluto. Jupiter, 120 of Neptune. Sun, 180 of Saturn. BA. Note here he's using only transiting Sun and Jupiter as triggers with specific aspects. The following aspects are used for financial markets. 0, 30, 45, 60, 90, 120, 135, 150, and 180 on both sides of the circle. Now I know there's other ones out there. Luther Jensen mentions uh, uh, the quintile group and stuff, but we're talking about in this specific application. You will need to test these in the market that you personally trade. In the Euro US dollar, look at January 2004 when we had heliocentric Jupiter 60 degrees of Saturn. In December 2008 when we had heliocentric Jupiter 135 degrees of Saturn. Both were really nice months to trade. A lot of action, look for others. Again, note here he's using for this market for coffee, he's using Sun and Jupiter transiting aspects. That's important. That rules out a lot of stuff that we don't have to sift through. GAN, the month of April is very important. There should be a great activity in wide swings in prices due to these aspects. He's talking about the aspects on the previous page. BA, what he's saying here is that the Jupiter as aspects cause great activity in wide swings. I think it's safe to say this is generally accurate and can be used by the trader as a good indication, a secondary indication not your primary, which is your time cycles. That's an important distinction to make. GAN, geocentric maps movements from low prices on coffee. And I know what you're thinking, BA misspelled that. No, GAN did. And uh, it, it should be Mars, geocentric Mars movements. 
1931, April 16, August 7, 1953, Mars has made 12 round trips. 1954, October 29, Mars will be opposite 180 degrees from its place on April 16, 1931. 1936, October 1 to September 19, 1953, Mars has made nine round trips of 360 degrees each. 1954, December 9, Mars will be nine and a half round trips or opposite its place October 1, 1936. 1940, May 19th to June 12th, 1953, Mars made seven round trips or complete cycles. 1954, April 9, Mars' seven and a half cycles are opposite its place on May 15, 1940. Due to the re retrograde position of Mars, it will again be seven and a half on July 7th and on August 17th, 1954, where the third time in opposition to its own place, which is very important. 1940. August 19 to September 15, 1953, Mars had completed seven round trips. Note low on coffee on that date. 1954, December 4, uh, Mars had seven and a half round trips or opposite its own place on August 19, 1940. B.A. He is saying here to look at geocentric Mars movements of complete revolutions, known as conjunctions and halves, known as oppositions. The procedures to take a good high and low, good, is the key word there and note the position of geocentric Mars on that date then keep tabs on this as you are running along let's take a look at some examples in the euro US dollar be a note you must have a time cycle due as well always keep that in mind okay so keep that in mind when we take a look at this okay this is a pretty good high I would say July 28 1995 where's geocentric Mars is at 20 Capricorn April 21, 2008, geocentric Mars is at 20 Cancer, which it moved 6.5 revolutions in 4,651 days. That to that is a really good high, and it's exactly 6.5 revolutions. Okay, next example. August 7, 1997, geocentric Mars is 26 Libra down here. Good, good low to this nice high here, May 5th, 2011, geocentric Mars is 26 Aries, 7.5 revolutions in 5,019 days, planets rule. <laughs> This 1997 low has been providing support over the last few months, and this video is done in March of 2016. If you look at that, if you take this, which is about the 204 area, or I'm sorry, the 104 area, draw a line from, from this low down here and take it forward, it, you'll see we've been bouncing off of that over the last few months, okay? And this is this wraps up and concludes Gan's coffee letter for us. If you have gained insight from my video, subscribe so you can get the latest on my free market calls, forecasts, commentary, and teachings. Knowledge is priceless. Hey, this is BA telling you you can succeed. Take care. Bye.